All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? We're going to do another whip and chat today with Craft of Lease Midnight Warrior by Sarah Burrier. 20 inches by 28 inches, round drill, 62 colors in total, including two ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis, and, yeah, and two rhinestones. <laughs> <laughs> translucent faceted tops uh, with silver bottoms okay how's it going hopefully you're having a wonderful day I'm still working on this number two here oh my gosh just the fun never ends it's consuming some delicious coffee yes yes alrighty alrighty let's give her alright Hopefully your crafting and other projects are going well. I uh, don't know if I want to <laughs> put the tray on these drills or not. Alright. Yep, so we got some sort of snowfall last night. I could walk on top of the some of the snow that fell last night. Because it had a coating of ice on it. <laughs> so we got up freezing rain at some point. So yeah. I don't think it was as bad as last time. Like previously we had a good uh, freezing rain kind of party. We're out sitting in the work parking lot for 15 minutes scraping off my car in order to be able to drive home <laughs> so I don't know if I'll end up with the same scenario today I do have to run a couple errands so. I don't know if we're getting any more kind of snowfall today, but I'll see. It is still kind of overcast, so never know. Clouds could just be chilling here, I can tell you. Yeah, it's windy though. The Canada flag is gone, so. West, maybe? I, <laughs> I can tell you. Oh boy. I have no concept of direction whatsoever. <laughs> Alright. Oh dear. Section's getting smaller for the twos, so this is good. Oh, there's some here too. Oops, I guess I must have been working over here yesterday. <laughs> ah, they're everywhere, man. They're everywhere. I don't know. That's a fairly coherent chunk. <laughs> they're bundled up together.
just so I don't miss them. There we go. Alright. That's better. Alright, I'll just move up a tad. And blow my nose. Jeez. <sighs> All right, I came back. I had paused for a second there to just go blow my nose. There we go. <laughs> also sound a little congested. <laughs> oh my gosh, silliness. All right. I'll keep plunging away here. Yeah, so snowstorm we survived uh, power didn't go out as far as I know not here anyway so yay <laughs> boop I have to pour some more of this color into the tray fairly soon <laughs> Yeah, I know. There was an epic saga before with the previous section with this color. It's just... It's just the color for this canvas. <laughs> Tune in for the next episode of Echoes of Color. Will we do the same color for a couple more sessions? My word. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to slurk my way through it. <laughs> All I can do, perseverance. Yeah, we're... Okay, we got some more drills. World safe now. Spill. <laughs> ah. Yeah, Axel wasn't feeling very good last night. He just ate too many cat treats and was sick, so I had to deal with that. Um, he was pretty chill after that. It was just, yeah, just sleeping it off. He's a lot more chipper today. Oh, uh, probably, yeah, just too many treats, indigestion or something. I don't know, he'll be fine. He's a very strong, happy kitty, generally. Uh, I was trying to pet him last night and he was just biting and clawing at me so I obviously wanted to be left alone. So yeah, I had slept for like that three hours after work, like, yeah, yesterday, so I was kind of half awake anyway all day, but yeah. I potentially went to like bed early, like just to go watch YouTube or whatever. Yeah. Just ended up watching the stand-up comedians or whatever. I didn't know who they were, but yeah. Just watch Randy Feltface and once, and then your whole algorithm changes. I don't know, didn't find the routines hilarious, but I don't know, it was something to watch in that panel of time. So, all good. Oh, there's not much on there for Randy Felface. He has like a couple of specials that are just on YouTube. Probably like DVD or Blu-ray specials or whatever <laughs> that were like recorded. But yeah, they're on YouTube. Whoops. Just somebody put them on there. <laughs> and of course... <laughs> Everybody flocks to them. I tried looking it up to like rent or whatever to like purchase it, but I'd already watched it. 
unfortunately. <sighs> oh well, I follow Randy Fellface's channel on YouTube, so it's gotta help him somehow, but... I don't know, you can rent or buy movies on, and watch them on YouTube. And I looked up Randy Feltface and I really didn't get anything, so... Must be how they... Where they, re -re where they were recorded and how they were distributed. Just a puppet, and if you just look at it as the character, it's just that's where the magic is. <laughs> you know, it's a puppet, but yeah, you just see a character. The camera intentionally focuses on the puppet, the character itself, and it's like he's just walking among us, just just another guy. <laughs> it's like that's what they're trying to convey when the specials are on or whenever he makes a public experience uh, appearance experience what I think I'm still asleep jeez <laughs> I don't know just something really cool about puppets they just come to life and yeah they can do funny things with them Kind of suspend your disbelief, or belief, whatever term that's called. Oh, just really mature grown-up puppet, and it's still like Elmo. Like, I don't watch Sesame Street, like sit down and watch Sesame Street, but I don't know, just see Elmo a lot. Probably not in terms of Sesame Street clips, but I mean, it's like anybody can buy a Kermit or an Elmo puppet and... uh yeah, do parodies of the character. <laughs> People can do Kermit and Elmo's voice. Other than the ventriloquists that, uh, or the puppeteers that do it on Sesame Street. The Elmo I see is a little more untamed or mature themed. <laughs> Elmo on TikTok and then Kermit's on. YouTube, it's just a couple different people just doing the impressions and <laughs> putting these characters in weird situations that wouldn't normally happen. <laughs> they might happen to like regular people, like regular people situations, but yeah, just... <laughs> I don't know, a weird fascination with puppets. <laughs> but yeah, I came from uh, Randy Fellface, like the comedian side of it. I don't know, it just kind of showed up out of nowhere or something. And I watched like a, a special or whatever. And then ever since, it's just like, hey, Randy Fellface, hey, a clip or something. It's like just a part of one of his specials or whatever. It does shorts and all that. YouTube shorts. It's little itty bitty clips. Kind of like TikTok does. But that's the format. Never. I do have a TikTok account. But like you have to record something. Or post something on TikTok. In order to see what your friends are doing. At not figure this out. <laughs> Probably it seems like just that, but what the heck do you put on TikTok? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't have off the hitch content exactly to do miniature thirty-second videos or something. 
I don't know, it's just very short clips. It's like, what do you do? <laughs> it's like... I'd rather post like whipping chats. Like... <laughs> I'm sure there are content creators that use TikTok, like that are on YouTube that use TikTok. I think there's a a few couples that are really popular on TikTok. Like they're either engaged or married. I think one of them has like kids now. Like Austin and Lexi. I see. I think I have their names right. But yeah, it's just one example of a a couple. Those two are just girlfriend and boyfriend. But yeah, the attention span thing though, they're like really short clips and it's like you could have watched like 60 videos in like half hour period or more. <laughs> and you just have all this content just slapping you in the face when you're on TikTok. It's like, whoa. Yeah, we really have short attention spans, it seems like. Wow. Short and quick. It's like, wow. Well, even just doom scrolling on Facebook, it's just such an amount of information just in front of you and then ads sneaking in between that everybody just loathes yet they comment so they remain on their algorithm because <laughs> they interacted with it oh I'll get these ads off my Facebook and it's like a comment so it's like yeah it's not going away anytime soon <laughs> if you keep clicking on it to comment you silly goose Oh. I don't know, I think it's just the algorithm, it's like, it knows your age, and then just gives you ads based on how old you are or whatever. I've seen some really mature ads. <laughs> Wow, this is on Facebook. All right, keep scrolling. Yep. Oh, yikes. <laughs> My eyes. <laughs> it's like, what the heck do I need a corset for? Oh, organs are squishy, but geez, it, just long function would be good. I really don't need to be... really squished up. I can't imagine that's good for your organs, like to have them crunched up in a corset. Like these are men's corsets. Like really eccentric fashion statement. But hey, you're thin as a pencil, so it's like ladies have gotta love that. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just yikes. I don't know, just some of the ads I see on Facebook. YouTube, I usually get Diamond Art Club ads all the time, no matter what video I'm watching. Just that 30 second Diamond Art Club ad. Join the obsession, the craft that everybody's doing. No more sewing or cross stitch or whatever, and it's like, what? Okay, it's, yeah, I know I diamond paint and make content for YouTube that's diamond painting related, but I think I have other interests, but. Mm. 
I watch unboxings or post reviews or some weapon chat snippets of them. I usually watch a lot of unboxings and it's not necessarily Diamond Art Club, but that's just the niche that I usually end up getting ads for. So Diamond Art Club it is. Yeah, just no matter what I'm watching, just poof, Diamond Art Club it. Yeah, there's like a fancy version of YouTube where you can get rid of the ads, YouTube Premium or something. It's like, uh, just watch the ads. They support the creators, supposedly. Most of the time there's a skip ad, but there's just some instances where you have to watch the ad before you can approach the video. Oh well, no big deal. Yeah, I'm not paying extra to watch YouTube videos. Like, what the heck? I'll sit through the ad if I have to, and I'll skip the ones I can. Like, usually watch like a whole video, not just like <laughs> thirty seconds of it. <laughs> it's just my word. It's on and a canvas unboxing. Yeah, I'm watching the whole thing. Like, you know, let's take time to do. <laughs> I don't do like an ambiguous amount of them, but yeah, I did one recently for craftably, but. I was just for the giggles because of the way that I I had showed the outside of the box of the canvas in question and it showed up as a thumbnail so it's like oh it's diamond painting related so I'll just show the outside of the box and I said Fox makes a cameo or whatever it's like oh I thought you were gonna unbox that <laughs> Yeah, I kind of apologized for that <laughs> and did an unboxing just for the giggles. Like, eh, you could unbox it when you're ready to work on it, but yeah, just the way that one thumbnail was, I was just like, yeah, I'm going to do an actual unboxing. It just took me a few minutes, like, no big deal, for half an hour. But yeah. <laughs> The Watcher, yeah, craftably. I forget who the artist is, <laughs> but it's on here, so, yeah. I don't know how you do those, like, eye boxes in the top right-hand corner. I have no clue. It links you to another video. So, if I were to jump, do that canvas, at one point, I could just... Oh, here's the unboxing top right hand corner. I have no idea how to do that eye box, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just search on my channel for an unboxing that I did a while ago. I'm helping. It's like jeez. Yeah, basically a hyperlink in your video. Yeah. That you can interact with or tap or whatever. You can like watch it later or something. Yeah, I do that for some YouTube videos. I get notifications that videos were posted, so I do that a lot. You get those notifications, and then you can expand the kind of notifications, and it gives you options. It tells you what the video is, the content creator, and then watch later is on the far right. I usually tap that a lot and then it files it in my YouTube account so that I can watch that video later. Because yeah, it may be a notification on my phone but finding that same video like later in the day, a uh, train of thought could have just 
totally miss the station or whatever and be like, I wanted to watch one of these videos or something. I remember seeing it earlier, but if it's not in the watch later, it's usually gone from my mind or memory. Probably end up watching it eventually, but just that initial notification. If I didn't do watch later, then good luck watching it. <laughs> Yeah, there's only certain people that you're sus subscribed to that show up. Like, probably what you watch most of the time just shows up on your kind of home screen or whatever on YouTube once you open it. Yeah. Home page, I guess. Yeah, home page. I don't know, it's just a trip down the rabbit hole YouTube sometimes. Yeah, I like to watch like more ghost hunting stuff, but man, they just talk too much. <laughs> Oh, there might be ghosts in here, and they're like, hear them walking, and it's like, I don't really see them using the equipment. They're just talking about the place being haunted or whatever. It's like, shut up. Like, geez, use the equipment or something, an EMF equipment, an electric magnetic frequency or something. Yeah, there's paranormal ghost hunting equipment has radio frequencies or electromagnetic kind of doohickeys that yeah can detect spiritual energy if you believe in that stuff I talked about it I've talked about it a bit here on Echoes of Color yeah I like that kind of stuff the paranormal kind of stuff But yeah, just, yeah, there's a ghost hunter show that you can purchase or rent, like, whole seasons on YouTube, so, yeah, I have, like, the first season of Ghost Adventures or something. Yeah, barely touched it, but I watched a couple episodes. It's just no commercials, it's just the show. And in that show, it's been on, like, Discovery... science-based channel or something like yeah discovery hd or something dad dabbles in it he watches like alien encounters or whatever <laughs> watches that paranormal stuff every once in a while too so there isn't a hockey game on but i don't know my mom's in bed reading so dad has the tv for a chunk of time so I've seen snippets of that stuff. Oh, excuse me. It is interesting. So, yeah. Yeah, these paranormal shows, they just get... gather physical evidence of spiritual activity in certain locations. But, yeah. I've dappled on that topic before. I don't know too much about it, but... Yeah kind of interesting thing that you don't watch every day but anyway you've been watching echoes of color with jeffrey morrison down below in the description i put my facebook profile name my echoes of color facebook business page it's really just a website within facebook that's all it is it's just what facebook calls it and my instagram all three i just try to update simultaneously I usually have to update my Facebook business page separately whatever you post on Instagram posts on your Facebook home feed or profile page if you want yeah <laughs> that's just yeah 
kit up pictures, progress photos, finished canvas photos, just from my weapon chats here, or content on Echoes of Color here. So, yeah, I don't update all the time. Like, I don't say I have like a new video up. I don't do that. If you click on the bell and you're subscribed, you should get notifications that I have new videos. That's totally up to you independently. It's just an option that's available on YouTube. But I'm not going to do posts every time I have like a video up. There are times where I do like three of these. <laughs> and two or three of these in a day. It's like, oh, Jeff, go outside. <laughs> I don't like posting that kind of stuff. Just notifications that I have a video. You probably already received a notification from YouTube if... Yeah. I also post uh, walking challenge links. Uh, Conqueror, which is Lord of the Rings, five parts. Virtual journey across Middle Earth. And Pacer, Silk Road. Trading, re trading routes in Asia, which is just one big path. But yeah. Other than that... Uh, I'm not affiliated or partnered or won't receive commissions if you click on those links. Yeah, they're just there for the giggles and information. But yeah, anyway, take care, all the best, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.